The UltraVision Classic software includes a tool to simulate, record, and apply DGS curves for various types of phase array probes. This is often required when inspecting heavy forgings according to the applicable codes. The DGS or distance gain size method essentially compares the reflectivity of a real flaw with the reflectivity of a flat bottom hole at the same distance from the probe. By comparing the amplitude of the flaw signal with the back wall echo of the specimen, the DGS curves allow to quantify and evaluate flaws in forgings by determining the equivalent reflector size or ERS. For conventional UT, leading probe manufacturers provide the DGS curves with their products and the operator will use these to manually evaluate each reported indication after the inspection. For phase array techniques, it gets more complicated because a different set of DGS curves is required for each focal law, taking into account the refracted angle and the focal depth. Ultravision Classic offers a complete solution for this challenge. We will illustrate this with the inspection of a dedicated DGS validation specimen with several sets of flat bottom holes as shown in the 3D view. First of all, the advanced calculator allows to generate DGS curves for the considered set of focal laws. In this example, a 5 MHz linear array is used, but the tool also supports 2D matrix arrays. The user interface allows to set the various parameters for the curves, like the time base, the number of calculated points, and the required flat bottom hole sizes. After the calculation process, the curves for each focal law can be visualized. Then, the DGS curves can be exported for use in the actual inspection setup. During the inspection and for data analysis, the DGS curves can be visualized in the A-Scan view. UltraVision Classic has dedicated DGS information fields, providing an accurate equivalent reflector size reading for the indications. Here, the 6 mm diameter flat bottom hole at 300 mm of depth is being sized very close to the real value. For an even more efficient evaluation process, the contour tool on the C-Scan view can be used. The information field values can of course be stored in the indication table and can eventually be exported to a TXT file. 